Hi, greetings, Yashima. Greetings. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You know, it's a pleasure having you here in the studio. It's a pleasure to be here. I want to say thank you going out to Shannon so that he's actually filming us at this moment in time. Okay, now, Yashima, before we talk about your album, right, Yashima McLeod, Awakening, a hard copy is available. Can you sing something for us before we go into talking about your album? Okay. Mm. I gave you all my love, but you took it all away. How could you hurt me this way? I gave you all my love, but you took it all away. How could you hurt me this way? Oh, thank you very much. I'm going to give you a round of applause on that one. Um, thank you very much for taking, you know, a busy time out of your schedule because I know that you're very, very busy and you've got an interview straight after this one. Now, so I'm going to ask you about your album called Awakening and the first track on the album is called Digging On Me. Can you tell us a bit about that track? Yeah, um, so that track basically was recorded over seven years ago now and um, basically it was the track that made everybody know who Yashima was. So that was the very first song I did as a promo and I went to record it and that's how everybody got to know who Yashima was and wow. when I started my music career. Seven years ago. Was recorded, yeah. It's funny, I was going to ask you, um, when did you start? your music career and you've actually answered it all in one well so. that was nine years ago but this track was released seven years oh, ago. oh so you first started nine years ago yes and the track what we're talking about was done seven years ago yes the oh wow it was released seven years ago wow fantastic nine years mm. yeah thank you very much now we've got another track here called gave you all my love yes Tell us, uh, was it that you were just singing? One it was that song I was just singing. Oh wow! So <laughs> how did you come about that song? Um, I was just writing from a personal place, and yeah, I just sang and put all my emotion in the song. Mm. I wrote that song, and yeah. Okay, now I'm just a girl. Yes. You've got to tell us about that particular track. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl was um originally a promo track and I I, I did, obviously did a, a dub plate for yourself thank you as um and basically it went well as a promo and obviously the discussions between my manager Maurice Stingray mm -hmm. and obviously Dilly Big House Studio Stingray um we all had a discussion and um we had a discussion with Bobby Di Bobby Digital before he passed away oh. and it was agreed to put this song on the album to be released wow yes and if bobby digital would bob was say endorsed it then it's got to be the one in it definitely <laughs> definitely and obviously we know that dilly you know used to engineer for bobby digital yes you know what i'm saying yes. so that is a great achievement now we're going to go on to track number four, Zion. Zion. Wow. <laughs> I remember when I got the album as a promo. Yes. And I was there in my studio and I was just playing the album. And when does Zion come on? I don't know. I just went bam. And then that was it. It went straight on to social media network, the Facebook. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I just slapped it out there and the amount of response mm -hmm. that I've got for Zion. Can you tell us about that particular track? And how did you feel when you saw it was tagged to you? Um, obviously, you've seen the comment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, oh, a bit too quick. But with the response... Mm -hmm. It was a great response and to be honest it's one of my favorite songs on their album there's many songs on there that i love to be honest for different reasons but it's one of my favorites and that song come about my manager 
Morris Judah, Stingray. If you didn't know, he's a songwriter as well, so wow. he wrote that song. Wow, Morris Judas. Wow, yeah. the songwriter. Yes. I want to congratulate him on that. <laughs> He's given you some wonderful lyrics there. Definitely. And you've definitely got the voice. Thank you. You've definitely got the voice. As I, I saw something that went up the other day um, from Zoljack. Yes. Distributing company. Yes. And what was the remark that he said about your voice? Um, refreshing. Refreshing. <laughs> and for, to have a refreshing voice yes. that is now coming into the industry, yes. that is fantastic. <laughs> so I want to say thank you again for that one as well, yeah? It's an honour. It's a pleasure. <laughs> now we're going to go to another track called What If. Yes. Now, what if, what, what is that track really concerned about? Well, I wrote that song also and basically... It was coming from a personal place. And basically the song's just about self-reflecting. And I was basically asking myself the question, had I picked path A or path B, where would my life be, basically? Okay. So, so it's a song for you to really listen to and to self-reflect. Wow. Self-reflect. Mm. I love that energy. <laughs> I do. Now, um, prophecy. Yes. Well... Been in the business for so long, mm -hmm. you know, prophecy has been around. And hearing your version is like it's actually woken up prophecy once again. And the mix that has actually gone behind it yes. from Stingray Recording Studio. Yes. Tell us a bit about it. Again, this was a promotional track. Um, I believe it was back in 2017, a promotional track. Mm -hmm. And again, yourself, plus a few others, had it on a dub play. And obviously, um, my manager sent it to the team, Dilly. And yourself um, sent it to, I believe, Saxon Sound was involved. Yes. And that's what had Marcel it? Ed. Yes, yeah. he has Lloyd Sachs, <laughs> yeah. a good, good friend of ours, <laughs> I should say. And the discussion was the song needs to be relicked. Shima needs to sing the new version. Mm -hmm. And then with the discussions about the album, it was definitely a song that was, was discussed would be for the album. Mm -hmm. And I remember I'd recorded that song um, last, year, um, last year, April. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the mix, it's crazy. It is. It's crazy. It is. Uh, you know, the, you've actually done the song justice. Thank you. You've actually done the song justice. Thank you. And I say thank you going to, uh, to Dilly as well. They call him the great. <laughs> <laughs> the engineer. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move on to track number seven. Oh, la, la. Yes. When I first heard that track, right, and I heard the rhythm behind it, it reminded me of, you know, those great lovers rock days <laughs> <laughs> right you know as a sound man that's been in the business for quite some time and played a lot of versions of ooh la la mm -hmm. and to hear your ooh la la is refreshing to the air it's like it's it's relived it it's like it's brought it back again mm -hmm. what inspired you to really pick a track like that and sing it um again um Speaking up to my manager, Morris Judah. Um, respect, respect, respect. Basically, Norris Man was already on uh, already on the rhythm and he's already got an album on the road and mm -hmm. there's other artists working on the rhythm and Morris spoke to Dilly and asked if if anyone's done the original, like, um, ooh la la. Mm -hmm. And Dilly said no. So he says, why not let Shima do it? And I recorded this track a week before lockdown. Whoa. So had I not recorded it, it may not have made the album, but all in good time. Yeah, the, 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 they have a saying that um, nothing's never done before the time. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Now, there's another track that I personally have been featuring. Yes. And quite a few DJs as well, right? Because I'm not the only one, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it's called Revelation Time. Yes. And... To what is happening around the world right now, this track, like it came out exactly at the right time. Was it B 
because of what's happening around you now that made you do the track or was it just that you decided to just say you know what i need to do something from what we would call you know the good book um again <laughs> morris Tudor wrote this song oh god <laughs> congratulations <laughs> Um, we work as a team, as mm. you know, so he'll give me a slight melody and I anything, any ideas that he has, I seem to implement it and it sounds exactly like what he wants or what he's hearing in his head. Right. And he wrote that song and again, it was just about what's going on now, the signs of the time and basically just reality, everything what's going on and the lyrics are powerful, the song's a powerful song and it, it definitely is right for the time. It is very, very powerful. I've got to admit that. And I want to say congratulations going out to your father, also your manager, uh, you know, the songwriter. And it so happens that you have the voice yes. <laughs> <laughs> to, compliment, to compliment the lyrics. Okay. And also you have a melody mm -hmm. within that voice. And believe it or not, your voice is so powerful just before we done the interview when we done the first tech on the interview and you sang it it, it, it hit the meter into the red where a lot of people have said that you have a voice that is so powerful mm -hmm. that it can break glass and when i hear the public that say something like that especially to i as a dj and they say it to their friends it reminds us as an authentic artist that was around with us back in the day goes by the name of Etta James <laughs> yeah then that says that you've got such a powerful voice it's it's just like that so I want to say congratulations on that as well Thank now you. we're going to move on with a song called Together yes. featuring Tenor Star yes tell us about that track um that track was um um uh, released four years ago before it uh, went on the album and it was a case of we were in the studio, I was a bit tired and I was singing part of the song and from what I remember Dilly was sitting there and he's on his phone and his, his partner partner was texting him and he had an idea and he had an idea and says Tenor I want you to sing this back to Shima. Again Morris wrote the song. <laughs> 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 You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> he had an idea and he says, Tenor, I want you to sing this, this back to Shima. And um, the vibe was right and the song came out as it did. And we obviously made history because it's a first for Dilly. He released a song the next day. And that's a first for Dilly. He released a song the next wow. day. And till this day, people love the song. Yes. And it yes. had to make the album. Yes, because it's been popularly played yes. and a lot of people are talking about the song. Have you done any specials on that song? Or has anybody asked you to do a special together with you and Tenor Star in combination? Um, Not as yet, okay. but I do believe it's we'll get America. people asking soon. Oh, well, <laughs> um, since... I'll be the first. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to go on to another song off the album, track number 10, mm -hmm. and it's called Hallelujah. Yes. Damn, that is another track that I've been playing mm -hmm. before the album released. But now, when I got the album, I'm hearing the, a different mix. Yes. With slightly different. Yes. And it's... Just like, wow. It's reborn again. Yes, yeah, so tell us about <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, again, Morris wrote the song. Um, and when I did that song, that was a good few years ago now as well. It was mm. recorded a good few years ago. And it's a thing what Dilly does. So you'll have a single mix and you'll have an album version. Mm -hmm. It's the same for Revelation Time. Even for Together, there was different mixes when they were released as singles. But the mixes on the album is slightly different. And, um, yeah, that was recorded a good few years ago now. And, again, it's um, a spiritual song. Yeah, definitely, mm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get to the final track of the album. Yes. And it's called Heavens Declare. <laughs> now tell us <laughs> about Heavens Declare. Um, again, Morris uh, wrote the song. 
And again, when he gives me the lyrics and we sit down and we work through a melody, I, you know, obviously implement whatever he's hearing in his head and we just seem to make it work. And the song's a great song. And again, I've been getting a great response from that song and that song was recorded a few years ago as well. But I'm getting a great response from that song. Um, I did a show a few years ago and it was in another city. It was Bedford and the response was crazy and I was like, okay. Wow. They'd forward into this song, so it's another beautiful song. Um, yeah. Yeah, I want to say thank you very much. Now, where can they get their copy of your album? Um, all digital downloading sites. So you can go to Zoljack Worldwide, StingrayRecords.net. Mm-hmm. You can go to iTunes. You can stream through Spotify, Deezer. Just type my name into Google. Y A S H E M A M C L E O D and you can put Awakening and it will come up with all this the, all the sites that you can go and purchase the album from. If you would like a hard copy then you need to contact myself or my manager through Facebook and we can arrange that for you. Wow, wow, fantastic. Now what about dub plates if um you know sound systems would like to get some specials? Um, how can they get in contact with you on that? Um, they can either find me on Facebook and, and I'll direct them to my manager, Maurice Studer. If they find him on Facebook before me, then, you know, we'll just sort out there's, there's a number that they need to contact. If you just inbox me, I can forward that number to you and, yeah, my manager will deal with all those. Oh, thank you very, very much. Now, before you go, there's another thing that I want to ask you, right? We're going to take it back now. Um, when... I visit social media mm-hmm. and I've seen you coming out of a limousine. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, I've seen you standing up with a plaque. Yes. Right. And I, I think that was somewhere in Florida. No, LA. Was that LA? Yeah. Los Angeles? Yeah. Wow. What was you doing in Los Angeles and what was that plaque for? Um, this was back in 2016. And it was um, basically a song that I recorded for Heavy Beat Records and it was Nikisha Lindo's first production. It was a song called Oh Me Oh My and the Progressive Love Rhythm. And I won an award for the best reggae song 2016. So I've flown out to pick up my award. Wow, congratulations. (laughs) How did you feel, you know, knowing that, you know, you've just like started and, you know, LA has called you, Los Angeles has called you for you to go and pick up an award. <laughs> what was the, what was your actual feeling like? Um, it was electrifying, overwhelmed, it was it was shocking. Um, but it was an enjoyable experience, I must say. It was enjoyable. Oh. For my first time to the States. Mm-hmm. So Okay, fantastic. I've got to congratulate you on that. Again Thank you. <laughs> now, um what is what is your greatest moments that you can remember as doing stage shows here in the UK, especially in your, you know, your hometown? Um, there's a few great, great, great moments. So the very first one was when I went on tour. I went on tour with some of the legends. So Freddie McGregor. Mm-hmm. Johnny Osborne, um, Christopher Martin, Romain Virgo and Terry Linnin. And I got to tour, I got to go to Manchester Academy um, here in Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I went to Apollo Hammersmith. Wow. So that was an amazing experience. And then um, I've also... Um, John Holt was here in mm-hmm. 2013. Um, so I was um, supporting act with John Holt. God rest his soul. So I was glad I got that opportunity. Mm-hmm. And then of recent, which was 2018, I was supporting Beris Hammond and Sanchez at the O2 Academy. Wow. <laughs> when he's talking about supporting, there's support and there's opening a show. So was it just the support or did you have to open the show? I opened the show. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I opened the show. <laughs> no. Listening to you at this moment in time, 
you're not just known in England, you're international, internationally known. And to know that you got an award mm -hmm. from Los Angeles mm -hmm. before you even got one from the UK, mm -hmm. that alone is an achievement. It is. That is a big, big achievement. And I want to congratulate you on that one as well. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now, before you go, is there anything that you'd like to say to your fans out there, your audience? I would. I would just like to say um, thank you for those that have been supporting me from day one on my journey. I really appreciate you guys. Continue to follow me, support me. Um, Yashima's got so much more coming. And for all my new followers and new fans, just continue to follow Yashima. Um, so much more for you coming soon. So just continue to support me. I appreciate you all. Thank you very, very much. And Yashima, before you go, can you sing an outro? <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I hear rumours about you every day. I hear somebody say, somebody say you better leave and go away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Shiva. I'm going to do something and I hope that your manager your father will take the invitation mm -hmm. right so i would like the songwriter and your manager your father to grace the chair please um, this is something that morris don't normally do and normally he would have just says no so i want to say thank you very much for accepting the invitation morris right and you are Yashima's manager. Yeah, that's correct. And also songwriter. That is correct. Now, Yashima is your daughter. That is correct also. When did you actually find out that she could be what she is now? Um, to, to be honest, I'll tell you the truth. It was um, her mom, friend who died. Mm-hmm. And she must sang at the funeral. And um, I wasn't there I went, uh, I went to the afterwards, but not at the early part in the church. And what happened is that quite a few people f phoned me and said, how oh, come you haven't recorded your daughter? Mm -hmm. And she got such a lovely voice. And I won't take it away from her, because Tenor started phoning me. Mm -hmm. Because Tennis Star, as you know, is one of them that I was producing so many years. Mm -hmm. And Clear Angel. Mm -hmm. So he phoned me. Also Clear Angel phoned me and said, how come you haven't recorded your daughter Yashima? Mm -hmm. And I says, well, I don't know that she sings. And I says, she sings Wicked. I says, well, she's never come to me. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. So I said to them, okay, how would you put her on what, what, you know? And um, then I said to me, no, it like, similar to like Itana. Mm -hmm. I said, they say, yeah. so I said, I, I don't know. So anyway, to move it forward, what happened? I, um, I called her. And then uh, I says, I want to see you, because I heard that you. So she came and checked me. And then what it was there when she came and checked me, I says, um, I hear that you can sing. Mm -hmm. So have you? what have you got that I can listen? Have you got anything you've done? And she, she bought a little recording from some studio locally. Mm -hmm. But um, it was not what I wanted to hear. So I says, OK, hear what I hear, what, hear this. I normally have tracks, like just rhythm tracks, and I had, um, you see, I'm just, not I'm just a girl, I'm what they call, Digging On You. Mm -hmm. Digging On You was a different rhythm that we had. And um, I gave her, I said to her, don't worry about writing anything, because I know sometimes writing, just put a cover version on it. Mm -hmm. 
and I was so surprised she come back in so quick. I would have said within a day or two. <laughs> and I thought, wow, that was quick. And when I listen it, I says, wow, to myself. I was amazed. Whoa. I was amazed. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. And I called Dilly. And I called Raymond. I said, guess what? We have a star amongst the family here who can sing. Wow. <laughs> so they said to me, who's that? I said, Shima. They go, Shima. I said, yes. They said, no, no, all the years we say Shima, Shima, though. I said, yes. And um, they said, let me, Dilly said, let me hear what she can do. I said, all right, we bought the studio and we run, come in. Mm -hmm. And um, so I said, I said, Shima, we're going to London. We're going to record Digging on You. And um, so I said, me, her, and Tenor Star, because Tenor Star was doing his projects right, with me. Right. So we flew to London, get in the boat there. Then he said, all right, get in. We hear what you do. When he got in there, he was amazed. Wow. He was amazed. He was amazed. And, and, and then as that done, she done it so quick, we was all amazed. So he gave her another track, which was... um. What was the track I call um, Dreams? Yes. The, the track was Dreams. And then she just found a melody and started singing some lyrics. And Dilly said, Wow. And she carried on. She got the chorus, verse. Come to the bridge and they go, God. And Dilly said, Hold it there. I don't want you to rush it. <laughs> but what we take there. We're going to keep that. We're not going to take We're going to keep because that is so beautiful. We're not going to elite. That. We, we're going to keep that. Right, right. We'll just go home and then just think about the last little part and we'll just put it together, come back, put it together. And uh, and that that's a lovely song, Dreams. A lot of people don't realize because it doesn't play, but Dreams is a big, big, big tune. Wow, it is. It big, is, big is, tune, is, is, Dreams. Definitely. Because it's showing people, you know. Yeah, I know in life, not everything goes your way. But sometimes you have to have vision. Because we don't know vision. You will, you know, perish. Definitely. definitely so definitely. she had vision and it's a good thing she's following her, her dream, which is her vision. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Fantastic. Yeah. And I want to say, you know, thank you for Clear Angel. Right, and thank you for Tenor Star, you know, highlighting your daughter's talent. Yes. You yeah. know what I mean? I want to say thank you very much. And when you're talking about superstar from the family, now, mm. who's the other superstar in your family? Well, we've got quite a few, you know. We've got the legendary Freddie McGregor. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, my brethren. <laughs> oh, me and Freddie are part from... Some people think it's just the other day. We've been powering from um, early 80s, mm. me and Freddie. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we, me, Freddie, Dennis, Bob, uh, quite a few of us, even Bujo, all of us is in, in the organization called the 12th Chapter of Israel. Right, right. So right. we all used to meet before, you know, mm -hmm. long time. At each we meet at meeting, mm -hmm. dance, where we'll socialize normally. Mm -hmm. You know, but I knew Freddie from so long, not knowing he even was my family. Okay. I only knew him from the organization. And we are power from a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's when my um my dad, my daddy, um, my father, um, mother dropped out. Mm -hmm. And he went to the, um, the, the funeral and um, he met Freddie's father. Cause my father come to England a long time. Mm -hmm. So, him, and he left um, Clarendon for him uh, 15. Okay, okay, okay. You understand? So when mm. him left so early, I know everybody has family, cause big family, and some family you no know, mix with some family. And him left and, and gone at Spanish town and right. all over. So he, he never, so my cousin them never know. Okay, okay. So okay. it's only when he's burying his, his mother, he book up Freddy's father. Mm -hmm. And his Freddy's father tell him, say, I have a, a, a talented son who name is Freddy McGregor. And at this, so when he come back to me, and I tell me, I must have, you know, long me know him. 
yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Now that's history. Now a lot of people will look and say, well, hmm, Yashima's from a background of all these superstars, so she must have born with a gold spoon in her mouth. Was it that easy no. for your daughter? No, may I tell you that? No. So she, she has to go through everything like any I'm what, did, what, what did she have to what did she have to go through? She go through she go through the mill of everything. Mm -hmm. Reject and she said, No, that song not right. You gotta do it this way. Mm -hmm. She have to wait and I sang them fee 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 fee. You understand? Not like say um we we the, the we treat her like she, she's favorite, so she just can put anything together mm -hmm. and it's accepted. She have to make sure... It was nothing like that? No, 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 nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. Nothing you know like what that? I mean? No, she had it hard. Just like any any, any other, you have it hard. Oh, okay, You okay. understand me? Now, as a, you know, you're a songwriter, not only just write songs for Yashima, because... Obviously, you've been writing songs for Tenor Star yeah. before Yashina, yeah. Yashima came to light. Yeah. Um, how do you, what, you know, what's your vision? Um, okay. Right, well, well, I'm going to, your vision and your confidence in Yashima's voice. Yeah. You see, you know, no, being around the music so long and, and around family members, because there's more than one. I've written for Errol Bannock too, you know. It's a, a we family. Okay, okay. Yeah, Errol yeah. Bannock, big up, big up. Yeah, Errol Bannock is our family. Mm -hmm. um, the Dark is natural, who sing natural woman, is our family as well. There's quite a few members wow. of family, but mm -hmm. being around the music as, as a Stingray member, joining it from. Um, 1992, me and Raymond and Dilly putting this thing together. You know, as you go along with any craft or any profession you're doing, as you go along, you learn, you know. So you, so you get more confident in what you're doing, you learn more. And when you, I'm a man because I read a lot mm. and read the Bible. And plus, I used to be around, like I say, around a lot of 12 tribe members and they were like Dennis Brown, Freddie. If you listen to a lot of Dennis song them and Freddie them, two type of way they do it. One is cover songs, mm -hmm. that get them, and the other is biblical songs. Mm -hmm. Now, as a biblical person, that make it easy for me mm -hmm. because I'm a person who read a lot and read a lot of scripture. So when I hear a, a reading coming from the same kind of school like Bob, them because they're biblical. If you listen to a, a lot of Bob song, them is the lyrics either from His Majesty mm -hmm. until the philosophy. Mm -hmm. He listen that was His Majesty, right? That yes. um, or a lot of the songs, them anyway, the, the, the roots bridging them uh, and sister in them, right? It was either from Marcus Garvey mm -hmm. or from His Majesty. Mm -hmm. So, coming from that background. I've already was one of those sort of learned students. Mm -hmm. So what I thought then, okay then, just like them, is to implement it into, when I hear a rhythm, mm -hmm. to implement the lyrics in the rhythm. So what I would do now, I will, I will hear the rhythm. And what I tend to do is follow the flow of the rhythm. Mm -hmm. So the melody can follow the flow. I'm not no singer, but follow the flow. So when I'm getting the lyrics together, I'm flowing with the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then I will call the one who has the voice and say, Okay. <laughs> I just hold me for no sound and say, Flow, I'm not no singer, but you yes, know, yes, yes, this yes, is yes. the idea. This is the lyrics. And and that's how it comes out. That's how it came out. Yes. When did you actually felt confident within yourself, right? The reason why I asked that question, yeah, when I first heard of Yashima yes. doing um, songs, I heard that she was going to do an EP, For right, real. which an EP consists of four to five tracks, For real. right, and then all of a sudden, 
we've seen an album right so when did you find that confidence to say well you know what go straight for an album okay it was um we discussed this about um four years ago four years ago because we work with various artists mm -hmm. so daily we look at each artist when to put their project in place mm -hmm. so it discussed this four years ago um about putting shima project he says okay we're gonna deal with sandra cross project first mm -hmm. album mm -hmm. then we're gonna deal with tennis star mm -hmm. project and um then yashima and you have another bridge in your device and some work mm -hmm. but as the time going by i've seen um sandra had her result um tennis star had his out over mm -hmm. two years so we're saying it's about time now she might get hers out Okay. So this is why I know we say the time is moving, so it's time to put mm -hmm. things together. You know what I mean? And and that's why Dilly come to the decision now to put various tracks together, old and new. Wow. And, put, and that's the birth of the album. And that's the birth of the, the album. The Awakening. I'm telling you. Your daughter, Yashima McLeod. And it was Shima came with the title. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say yeah. thank you, thank she you. She came much. with that, yeah. Well, we we're reaching the closing part of the interview, and what is it you would like to say to all those who support Stingray and support your daughter and support Yashima McLeod as an artist and a Stingray production? Oh, God. Too much love, too much love, you know, well appreciated from all the fans all over the world. It's, it's, it's such a beautiful thing for you to support and we, we, we hope and pray that you continue to support us, you know, because we win so much award through you fans and we love the support all over the years and we give really much thanks and hope that you continue to support us. Wow. Mm. And before you go, there's a next one. As a distributor, remember, we're talking about a distribution services now, mm -hmm. where Zojak Records yeah. is a distribution service for yeah. Stingray production. And seeing the writing, right, of brand new, refreshing voice <laughs> to the industry, how did that impact on you? Wow, words hardly can ex express the feeling, you know, but words will express the feeling. <laughs> it's beautiful, you know, when you hear Zojak say, you know, on a, on, a, on a promotional base, saying, you know, um, such a refreshing voice and um, production, they talk, the production is a great production. Master, this is their word, masterpiece. Wow. When you listen to the word, they say masterpiece and a refreshing voice. You know, it, it, you know, you have to go and get a copy. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, you just go and get a copy definitely. and you see for yourself. You definitely. know, definitely. awakening. You know, definitely. make sure you get a copy. Make sure. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, you see hear that masterpiece. And that refreshing voice, voice, you know what I mean? Masterpiece, yeah, and a refreshing, refreshing voice. voice. Just go and get that piece because oh. it's well up, 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 up. Oh. Even the birds are must sing, yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I want to say thank you very much, Mr. Uh -huh. Morris Stingray Judah, because yeah. I know you do not. No, I don't, I don't think no, you don't. No, and I was nervous. When I was uh -huh. asking, I was nervous because I know you're a person that sticks to, to the background. And when yeah. you say no, there's no moving you. That is correct. Right? And it's honor and respect for you to actually take the chair so that I can talk to the manager of Yashima. Yeah, well, we give thanks. Got anything to enhance our career and help our career. And, you know, anything, anything. I go my out my way, so anything to help boost it, I'm always there. Okay, so before you leave, 
um, how to, to, to contacts if they want to voice specials or any other studios that would like your artist voice? Um, Again, as, as Yashima said earlier on, can go on Facebook and just inbox us number and I will give you what number to call us. Maris Judah at gmail.com. That's my email. And you have Yashima McLeod Facebook. You just any you just go on just go on Google and type in. You see mm -hmm. anything on, on Stingray. The Stingray just come up. So just contact Stingray Records so you can oh, you know. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> This can come off. <laughs> yeah, man, merchandise. I'm very proud to wear. Yeah. I'm very, very proud to wear a Stingray yeah. T-shirt. Yeah, I am very, very proud. Yes. Thank you very much. What I'd like yeah. to do now, we're going to close it, and I want to say thank you very much. Going out to Shannon, Breakthrough TV. Yeah. Big up thanks. yourself and maximum respect again. Yeah. Give thanks. Thank you. Give thanks. Ooh la la la. It's the way that you feel when you know it's real. Ooh la la la. It's the warm inside when you're satisfied. Ooh la la la. It's the dream that will last forever. Ooh la la la. Let's stay together. You know it's the one like Yashima representing the Stingray Records and I'm bigging up the Godfather. We in Irie. Breakthrough TV. Number one urban station. Bless.